Hello, welcome to my tutorial for using a physical controller to activate gaze input on Google VR. Google I.O. just finished up yesterday and I wanted to get a controller running as soon as possible. So I have a fork of the official Google SDK, link in the description. If you download that, you can follow along with me and in 5 or 10 minutes you'll be using an external controller to activate gaze input. So um, let's go ahead and create a new Unity project. Call this gaze physical activation test. Once that is up, we are going to be importing Google VR for Unity. So we'll go up to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. We now want to go to the repository that you've checked out from the link, and Google VR for Unity is what we want to import. Once we have this imported, we'll make a change to one of Google scripts, and then we will import another script, and we'll be good to go. Okay, now that this is imported, we'll go to Google VR, Demo Scenes, Headset Demo, drag our Demo Scene up here, and go to Untitled, and remove this scene. Just to test so that we know that it's working, let's hit Play. Once that's up, hold Alt, look around, and make sure that you can focus and click and see the cube go away. So we know we imported this correctly and our project is working. So the first thing that we'll need to do, we'll go down to Scripts, Gaze Input Module, I'll open this in Visual Studio. We need to make the trigger function in here global as it originally was private. This way we'll be able to do the exact same call that Google was using for the viewers. So let's scroll down here. Actually, let's just search for trigger. So it was handle trigger that we want. And that right now is a private. So we're going to make this a public. And that's our only change that we need to do in there. So we'll go over here and create an empty object. Then we are going to go to assets, import new asset. And from my Git repository, navigate to Google VR, demo scenes, headset demo and you want to import zapper input.cs we will then go to our game object add a component scripts add zapper input so here is my Cabela's controller which I'm using this because you're able to easily get it to connect to a computer or to an Android set we've got our light back here showing that the controller is now active so whenever I run my game here I'll move up, focus on there, and pull the trigger. And that activated gaze. So I'll show I've got it set up right now. So any type of input that you receive from the external controller will activate gaze. This way people can get up and running quickly and then they can make it a little less ugly once they've got the fun stuff working. So all we need to do now is get this over to an Android device and we are ready. So I'll go down to Build Settings, Android, Fire Settings. So we need to go and set our default orientation to Landscape Left. We need to go down to Other Settings. And I'll change this just to uh, Streamer and VR Test. I've seen a number of posts saying it had to be API Level 17 for Google VR stuff. I'm not positive. I've been using that though and it's been working fine. So I'll go ahead and plug in my Android device. So now that we have our Android device, I'll click on Build and Run. And I'll share this APK in the Git repository as well. So in order for me to get this to run on my headset, I just use a cable so that I can plug this in. And the VR headset that I'm using is VRBox, in part because it has a place where you can run cables from your phone out. So I'm able to just leave this hanging out whenever I play the game. 
Okay, so I now have the game loaded on. I have my controller connected by pressing this and it's plugged in. Just to show the game better, I'm going to go down and disable VR mode. So here, as I turn around and I pull the trigger on my controller, I'm able to activate gaze for everything as it comes up. So it works really well also, like they show in the Google demos, moving around like this. And it really gives for a fun interface. So I'm going to have to get a 3D printer up and going and make a mount so I can put this on my phone on here. Uh, also works well like this for Tango because you can walk around physically like that. But I'll put the demo up so everyone can play with it and hopefully you'll build some fun things. So my first attempts at getting input were using a Wiimote and using PlayStation Move. Either of these, as far as I'm aware right now, though, require you of a rooted device. And I wanted to get something that anybody could just download and try out. So the controllers from Cabela's Dangerous Elite stuff run about 15 bucks or so a piece. They're dirt cheap. I've seen two packs online for 30 bucks with game. And you just plug it in, it works. It gives you full access also to the D-pad in the back. So you can tie this in as a way that you can easily add other controls for playing with some new VR ideas. So um, I figured somebody would ask about why I didn't have these as they're both sort of better controllers than the other one, but it's the easiest one to get up and running. So have fun.